Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today we're going to talk about families a bit. I have a board set up here with some inventory slots. Uh, these are all the same object, just copy pasted. And then I have four potions. And I made a video earlier about sending potions into the inventory. So we'll be able to see that a little bit here. And we're going to change it into a family instead. So hopping into the event sheets. <coughs> I have some locked code here that we'll go into later and I guess we're using that so I'll show it uh, but on the start of the layout I'm just clearing off my text and then setting a UID to each one of my inventory slots so we have an instance variable where all of them have a variable UID holding spot and then I just go through for each of them and set their actual UID it just gives me a way to call them later if I click on my mana um, and it's not already overlapping my inventory slots it will create a new one in my inventory slots and that's what I just showed you in the video um, and then it sets a few things so the position will be inside the inventory slots it changes my inventory slot from uh, empty to full and then it also edits the size so it fits in there and Essentially, I would have to do this for each one of my potions. Obviously, that's going to take up a lot of room. So, we're going to work with families a little and show what it can do. So, I will go ahead and delete these and we'll pop this guy open. And I'm going to toggle it back on. And this guy as well. So, essentially, I just have a different function call for each uh, object but now they're named families and you make families by right clicking the families on the under the projects and you just add everything you want in a family to that family so I could do all these different types of uh, slots I can select them and throw them all in there and I'd create a family um, I'm gonna delete that because we're not working with those at all but uh, here's all my potions so I have all four in this family and the family's called potions so uh, when I click on one of my individual potions and it's not overlapping my inventory slot and all that means is it's out here because if I click on it in my inventory I want it to use the potion if I click on it outside I want to gain the potion um, so it will call the family potion which is up here and it will send in as many values as you want I have it set up with two um, the mana dot object type name which is mana I could have also just wrote that as a string um, but this shows that you can just call the object and send over the name and then also a value and I wanted this potion to just be uh, 5 value of mana the second one will send over 10 value of mana and it's a large mana and then uh, poison resist and ability power families work a little bit different so it's kind of strange to make sure you are talking to the right one if you click on your family's object um, which can be any one of the potions it's not going to remember what you have on the left side so you have to work it a little different we're gonna go ahead and that's why we send over the potion name as you can see here we have create object potion name and that was the first thing we sent over um, and that will allow us to create the object specifically called whatever we sent over as a potion name so we we'll can create the mana one um, we can still select the slot just the same and we want to make sure it's over that empty inventory slot so they don't overlap each other um, I can't add the potion set size in here because it will affect all of my potion family so I have a different event on the left side here and any time a potion's created, if it's overlapping our single inventories, it just sets the size for me in there. Uh, this last part is pick last created potion. So this top part will create the potion and right afterwards it'll say, hey, whatever that last thing was, also set its value. And that's our bonus value. And that's where these value 5, 10, 5, 15s come in. And we can go ahead and hop in the code and you can see I can click any potion and they go over there and I can use a potion and it'll say you drank a mana potion you gained five mana you drank a large mana uh, you gained ten 
potion, a poison resist, ability power. Uh, each one has their own items that they bring in with them. And that just comes from this right here. So you have on left click if they are in the inventory. And it will reset that to true. And it will destroy the potion. And then it will edit the text. If you don't do much with text, I guess I'll explain it all. We got a quote quote to start it out. So everything I type in here is going to show up as is. Um, and then this and means I'm going to attach something. And then I got potion dot object type name, which will be the potion's name. And then I'm going to attach some more, which is more of my text. So I threw a space and then potion in there. And then this gives me a new line. And I typed in you gained inside quotes. So it's going to be verbatim. And then I'll grab the bonus. And then I add a small space. And then I'll grab the potion's name again. So it'll say, you drank a mana potion. New line, you gained five space mana. And then we destroy the potion. Um, so hopefully that helps a bit. Uh, families are a bit confusing. So work with them a bit. They will save you time in the long run. Otherwise, let me know in the comments uh, below if you want anything specific, and I will do my best to help you out. Have a good one.